name is Mike Mahan with SMA Solar Academy. In the tech tip today, we're going to talk about the installation of the new Sunny TriPower Core 1 inverter. The Sunny TriPower Core 1 is the first standing PV string inverter for commercial rooftop, carport, and ground mount PV installations. It can allow up to a 60% time savings on installation thanks to its highly integrated architecture. The first step of the installation of the Core 1 inverter is unpacking the box and all of its components. The box will ship on a transportation pallet that will allow it to be placed as close as possible to the final installation spot. Once the securing straps have been removed to allow the box to be taken off the pallet, all that is left is to open the box. When we open the box, we find a top cover with a couple of accessories. After removing the accessories tray, lift the box off of the inverter. Next, install the rubber roof supports that are included with the inverter by attaching each one with a couple of M8 screws to the bottom of the inverter. Finally, take the four included handles and attach them to each of the two pairs of holes on both sides of the inverter. After ensuring that all four handles are adequately tightened and attached to the inverter, we can proceed to the next step, which is lifting the core one by the handles and placing it in its final location. It is important to remember that the weight of the inverter is approximately 180 pounds, so always make sure that this is at least a two-person job. The next step is to remove the covers of the inverter off of both of the DC and the AC sides. Each cover has 10 Torx 25 screws securing it. For clarity, for the rest of this video, we will not show conduit connections to the body of the inverter, but ensure that conduit and fittings appropriate for the install location are installed correctly. First, we proceed to the installation of the AC wires. For this process, we will need both a Torx 30 and a Torx 25 screwdriver. First, bring the equipment ground conductor and attach it to the PE grounding point just above the AC wiring block using the Torx 25 screwdriver to secure the clamp. Next, we release the screws on the AC connection block with the Torx 30 screwdriver, bring in the conductors to the lower AC connection opening and insert them on each of the three connection points. Tighten them down with the Torx 30 screwdriver. A jumper is installed at the factory to connect the neutral terminal to ground at the body of the inverter. If there is no need for the connection of the neutral cable at the service panel, the neutral conductor does not need to be run to the inverter. Please note that this does not imply the core one can be connected to a delta service. It requires a grounded Y service. For the communications, we bring the Ethernet cable through one of the one-inch openings and connect it to one of the RJ45 ports on the communications board. Multiple inverter communication boards can be daisy-chained together using the second RJ45 port. When daisy-chaining, the Ethernet cables can be up to 100 meters in length. The Sunny TriPower Core 1 has a grounding bus bar below the amphenol bulkhead connectors for attaching DC equipment grounding conductors. The final step is connecting the PV home runs to the amphenol bulkhead plugs. Note that the positive bulkhead connectors will mate with the home runs utilizing the narrower UTX connectors and the negative bulkhead connectors will mate with the thicker UTX connectors. Using the appropriate crimping tool from Amphenol, make up the PV home runs using the ferrules and connectors included in the accessories bag. Cap any unused bulkhead plugs with the included caps. If the SPD accessory kits are being used, insert the SPD modules now. Now we are ready to put the covers back on the inverter. After we are finished, the DC and AC disconnects can be turned on and the inverter is ready for commissioning. And that's it for the installation of the Sunny TriPower Core 1. If you'd like to learn more, visit the product page at sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan from the SMA Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.